So it's it's 8.30, we're 8.31 just as I started to speak. Um, of this fantastic Sunday morning, I <coughs> I uh, slept overnight at Motel Petra. I haven't slept there for about five or six years. I don't remember exactly where. I'm, I remember I used to stay there even with my first wife going in and out of Poland a couple of times from when it was pretty new onwards. Still is all right, but it's not like aging or anything badly. Um, and the breakfast is still the same, very tasty breakfast. Um, take set one with the scrambled eggs on butter. Mmm, that's very good. Just as I remembered it. And the salt comes a little bit too quick out of the salt cellar, just as I remembered it, which means you've got an excuse for having a little bit more salt. The same with the pepper. Um, and there we go, I want to watch these speed cameras. I'm cameraing you, cameraing me. So, uh, I don't know if that's even allowed, but who cares? Anyway, um, so I, I did, like I say, I stopped in Motel Petro, and some of you will know Motel Petro from, I think it might have been the last time I stayed there, because I have tended to film quite a bit since that time. Uh, there's actually a video called Stalking Stalk. I might have stayed there a couple of times since, but I think that was really the time that I can remember that I stayed there. Unless I just stayed overnight coming in, um, in or out from the UK, but I've ba barely gone in and out of the UK by car since that time anyway, so uh, I don't think that I've stayed there much, if any time, since then, but I used to stay there much more regularly. Um, and, and Stalking Stalk is one of my first videos ever, so it's from 2006, so that's already eight years, isn't it? Wow, doesn't time fly? Um, so, yeah, 2006 is, is Stalking Stalk video. Yeah. So, um, S-T-A-L-K-I-N-G, S-T-O-R-K. Um, so, uh, there's more than one video now. There used to be only one video with that title. But now that there's so many videos, of course, the same title gets used. Shimonjechi, by force of things, yeah? Just by more than one person, just as once you get enough people interested in something, like <clears throat> the internet, all the domain names became taken many times over. <laughs> and all the uh, email addresses of almost everybody's name has to have a one or a two. If you want your name recognizably, you have to add your date of birth in or something else. <clears throat> Maybe the place the town you live in or something um, in order to get something unique because once you once you're share, you realize you're sharing something out over well it's not all seven billion people of the face of the earth don't all go online but there's probably at least a billion who go online and who use email and everything so um, you know representing the more either the sadder or the more advanced and maybe both at the same time um, section of humanity. Maybe it's two out of the seven million. I have no out of seven billion. I have no idea. That's apparently a very poor place. It looks like it's not even working anymore. But um, I was informed by locals not to bother with it. Um, in back in the day, and it looks as though it's actually completely finished now. Which goes to show there is a link. Not always a fair link. Some there's lots of businesses I've really liked that have gone down the pan. But also there's businesses which I haven't liked or people that I know haven't liked and they've gone down the pan as well. Um, and if I'm happy to see the ones, oh sorry, if I'm sad to see the ones I like go down the pan, I invariably am, it makes me happy to see um, that, because a certain number have to, yeah? it may, therefore makes me happy to see that if a business has gone down the pan it was something that deserved to or is believed to have deserved to. Um, that, that restores one's trust, there's the uh, camera again, restores one's trust in um, uh, there's some kind of justice in, in all of that. So this is one of the latest... Ah, there's a stalk on the nest, that's worth watching isn't it? Let me see if I can push it right up. Can you see? It's standing up. It's already got chicks that have hatched. Is 
it's, it's reaching down to feed one at a time on the nest. There we are. That's nice, isn't it? A little bit of local wildlife coming up. And uh, wasn't it, this is called Pnuf or something, isn't it, if I remember rightly? I can't actually remember rightly. Oh, Bochuf, Bochuf. Bochuf, that's right. Named after, of course, the Bochan, probably, the stork. So if there wasn't any stalks there, it would be a bit stupid. Is that correct? No, it's not really correct, is it? Because sure doesn't come from the same root as tie, yeah? Usually the, the, the hard ch comes from a, a, a diluted k or a softened k, and the soft tie comes from a, from, from a, from a, a softened t usually, so... Um, the bochan is probably like a botian, bo botia, related possibly to German Bota from Messenger because it brings brings you almost like a message it brings you the baby doesn't it whereas Bocch lower the ch yeah would 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 be from Bock yeah you talk about Bocch not Bocch or Bobochne or something both sided yeah because you can't say Bokni in, in Slavonic you have to from Bock you have to go to Bochne so um so therefore, if it was Bochan, it would sound like a side of something. So this is much more likely to be a messenger of something. From that Bota route that you get in German. But I don't know, that's just, a, that's just an attempt at etymology without, a, without an etymological dictionary. I might look it up and discover that some other people have, have come up with other theories that they can argue better. That's the fun of etymology. Um, you can have a stab at the etymology of something if, that you don't know. Cause so obviously there are words I have looked up in the past and therefore I give you what, if I can remember it, what, what, uh, what, what the dictionaries actually say. But um, when it comes to etymology, um, if you come to a word you don't know, sometimes you can, you can make an intelligent guess and the real one is completely different. And there are so many different factors that feed into which word comes from which word when languages rub up against one another. And it fires imagination <coughs> about what in history there must have been to cause different circumstances. So, we're now really in the, <coughs> the final throws, the final run up. This is not going to let us get away with crossing the border without being on a motorway. But I don't think the motorway at this point actually has. I think we haven't. Got, we've got past the last toll at this point. I think that's the great. That goes back to Poznan. This goes on to Švetsko. And you've also got your Ripin Road coming off here. So this is all. Well, that's the way the the route used to look, and there used to be that that corner there. That they've added in. Ah, you see, there's nightclubs all over the place here. So that um, basically, what's happened is you don't see prozies on the roadside anymore. It doesn't mean there aren't any prozies. Um, there are, but they've brought them inside the houses, then into um, villas uh, where they can work in hopefully slightly more sanitary conditions and safer for them, I suppose. Although. Whether whether it makes any difference to the amount of their earnings that they get to keep, I don't know. I, I don't really know the industry. They don't really require auditing. Well, they probably should be audited, but they don't get audited. Therefore, there's no point in, in an auditor knowing the ins and outs of that business, other than just out of normal curiosity, which is the same as anybody might be curious about any business, especially a business involving something as visceral as prostitution, but um, from what I understand from the media, from people that have explained things to me, you know, if you're a 
if you're a prostitute, you don't normally get to keep much of what you earn. Um, so if you're in one of those houses, um, you have to pay a certain degree of rent, and uh, so, so that's your fixed cost. Plus, on 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 top of that, you have to pay um, for everybody that comes in. You have to pay something. So you have to do a certain minimum of work. Otherwise, you know, you owe them money, and you've got to be working back some kind of debt. And people say, well, you hang on a second. This is a fictional debt. And uh, you, you know the, the, often these people, those people, are, they're, they're working because somebody gave a loan to their parents or something back in the other country where they came from, often Bulgaria. But you say, hang on a second, this is a fictional debt. Often it's a debt which is just dreamed up by their um, pimps anyway, and uh, is a staggeringly large fee, and they don't get any say in it. Um, and they say, well, why are they working for something which isn't even real, a real debt? But, you know, but that's making them work and the abuse and everything, well, it's almost like a microcosm of real life, isn't it? When, when looked at that way. What we all do, we're all working for fictional debts in a sense. So, uh, you know, the fact that they, uh, the, the, they, they can't see that there's actually supposed to be a system of law to protect them, that they don't, either don't perceive it or don't believe in it. So they carry on working for this fictional debt. Um, we have a system of law, we also don't realize how, to a degree, that's also part of the whole illusion, but there we are. We, it's very difficult to break out of it without relinquishing the things which you need. Mm -hmm.